Indiana's governor, at least in part, is blaming himself for the legislature's failure to pass a hate crimes bill so far with a list of victim characteristics. Governor Eric Holcomb says he probably should have stressed more strongly to the public how important it is to adopt a hate crimes law that includes a list of specific protected traits. Last week, Republicans moved that removed that language from the bill and replaced it with the words including bias. As Tyler Lake reports, that move pitted them directly against the governor. This session's hate crime bill originally included a list of victim characteristics, including race, religion, and gender identity. But Senate Republicans took it out, and House GOP leaders don't support adding it back in. I understand the advocates' desire for a list. Uh, I really believe that there needs to be discussion of compromise in that regard and still have a bill that covers everyone, uh, including those that are desired to be on the list. But Holcomb says a bill without a list isn't good enough, and he wants Hoosiers to get involved. They need to contact the legislators that vote their legislator respectfully and appeal to their hearts and minds. Democratic lawmakers are joining Holcomb in their call for members of the community, especially business leaders, to speak out about the bill. If there's something that um, that, that uh, business organizations have tried to get done in the past. They've been pretty successful. Yes. So if, 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 if they uh, put the, the time and effort into it, I think we can get it done. And Bosma says he started getting calls over the weekend from many of the state's top CEOs, urging him to support a hate crimes bill measure that includes a list. The governor rejects arguments some of the bill's opponents make that a law is unnecessary because there are so few hate crimes reported. About 3,500 hate crimes is not rare to me. Examples all of the state of Indiana. One's too many. This isn't a heavy lift. Holcomb says lawmakers could pass a bill that mirrors a federal hate crimes law, which includes a victim characteristics list. It is not vague. It's very specific. It would be asking every uh, legislator to do nothing that's not already currently in place. But Holcomb has done little publicly to push for such a law, beyond discussing it during his State of the State address six weeks ago. He now says he will be hyperactive on working for its passage before the legislative session ends in late April. But he says it's too soon to threaten to veto a bill that doesn't have a list included. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Tyler Lake. And more than 20 CEOs and business leaders sent a letter to Republican leaders calling the bill without the list unacceptable, unenforceable, and harmful to the state's economy. They urge lawmakers to send a message that Indiana is welcome to all and open for business.